lids are absolutely covered in glue. Maybe I should have worn some gloves. But I want, I want my vote. I did it the other day, and it got a bit warm over here, which makes a change, and they all peeled off. So I'm, I'm trying to find an alternative solution. The air was blue <laughs> when I saw that. Isn't that the fun about these shows? Because, right, I was running around, too, and then all of a sudden, uh, we got to get the show on, turn the PC together, and let's go, and we'll yeah, connect, yeah. and we'll be on in 10 minutes, and let's do it, and then you go back to what we're doing. It's yeah, yeah. great fun. I'll tell you what, my friend, let's rock a tune for somebody. Let's do Charlie Bedford right now. Good to go. We'll be back with Paul Wynn. Thank you.
she wants your money, son She's a money junket You think you're gonna look it She's a money junkie. Oh, she is a money junkie. Charlie Bedford. Thank you. Thanks, bro, for coming back on the show. Yeah, welcome. Man, you got so many cool things going on in England. That is where music, I mean, it in the 60s. Wow, the Beatles and Abbey Road and The Who. And how many of those people you run into? <laughs> well, <laughs> considering I wasn't born until 1995. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a massive lie <laughs> yeah it's uh the, the only uh the only person well now I've, I've run into quite a few people but there's a band over here in the uk called nine below zero and they've been around since 1979 and they started off as a fusion between kind of punk and blues and um they were on the I don't know if you got it over in the States. It was a, a program called The Young Ones, which was quite anarchic. It was based around some students. It was a hippie, a punk, somebody who was in um, CND. And, and it was just brilliant. It was early 80s. And this band, Nine Below Zero, were the first band to appear on. They had a live band every week. Bands like Squeeze and, you know, Jules Holland, those kind yeah. of guys. Anyway, so they're still on the go. They had their 40th anniversary uh, last year. I've got all their albums, and I was playing at this blues festival in this town in the northeast of England called Darlington, and they do a big free blues festival, which is terrific. And I was just walking down the street, and I saw the harmonica player from Nine Below Zero, a guy called Mark Felton. And he, he's played, um, he did a lot of session work back in the 90s with bands like Oasis, Talk Talk, um, some Italian guy, I can't remember, might have been Zuccaro, has it? And uh, he was in the street, and I went up to him, and I went, oh, giddy. Mark Felton. <laughs> and he went, hello, Asis. And, and I went, hello. And I got all excited. Right? <laughs> went, went up a few octaves and I, I shook his I shook his hand and introduced myself. I said, oh, yeah, my name's Paul Wynn. Uh, he goes, are oh, you the guy from York? And I went, yeah, I am. He knew who I was and I was, I was absolutely chuffed. I was buzzing for about a week after that. I was telling everybody. I said, I met Mark Felton. They went, who? I said, oh, give me strength. But, <laughs> but he... Through listening to his style of playing, that's that, that's how I try to play harmonica myself. I'm a bit of a whaler, but uh, you know, you've all got you've all got to have your heroes, and he didn't disappoint. And I was about four foot taller than him as well, which, which was great. But uh, yeah, oh Paul, man, he was he was saying the same thing. I ran into Paul Wynn from <laughs> from New York. You know, the guy helping yeah, he us all that stuff. It, it, it's it, karma. yeah, he wouldn't leave us. He wouldn't leave us alone. <laughs> they got a restraining order on me now. Oh, that's too funny. I had <laughs> Karen Lawrence on my show, and she was telling me that she was sitting next to John Entwistle, and she was, like, yeah. frozen. I don't know what to say. And I says, nah, Karen. She was thinking the same. He was thinking the same thing. I'm next to you, you know? You got to understand. Hey, they're, they're, they're just people. They're just <laughs> it, people. <laughs> so, they? It is It is kind of true, because I've done my traveling with seeing the who in different places in the States, and you meet all sorts of people, and it's just all the same and fun. And music is just a huge community the way yeah, you were saying yeah. blues rock especially the older bands you know i, I saw the who at lake tahoe uh, about yeah. three years ago and you know you're talking to pete towns the guitarist he, um he, you know he tunes all his guitars he has passed away but i'm just yapping with him right by you know the hotel as a yeah. fan i know who he is but you just kind of just sit there and and it's amazing you know it's life now and with this pandemic, it's even more important. The blues, the blues, the rock, the stories. Talk to Paul Wynn in UK. I'm in the States. Everybody collaborate. And I see so much now on, and again, you are really rocking. You're doing two shows, but then you also have the video part, you know. <laughs> yeah, we try. We try. I'm always, I'm, I'm always tired out, and I'm always in trouble with my wife for being out. But that's not a problem at the moment, is it? <laughs> so. No, and you got a big project going on today too, I'm sure. And you yeah, know, yeah. Thank you, my friend, for coming on. I'll tell you what. Let's play one more jam from Charlie Bedford, and we're going to come right back, and we'll uh, chat a little bit. And we probably got to sign off with Paul Wynn. So, Humagoo, oh. having a blast. The states to the UK smashed the microphone. No, the guitar. Okay. So. <clears throat>
Just a little longer. Ooh, that's me. <laughs> Hello, Paul Wynn coming back on the Goo, bro. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> now, Paul's got the video going. See, I, I need to get my little video going on the Goo, so then everybody will be laughing at my end, too, my friend. I love that. Well, this face normally just stays on radio. There's a, there's a very good reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just seems like the time's now. And that's part of the energy. And uh, my friend, I love it that you came, took the time today to come on the show. I know you're doing blues all the time. You're busy, like you were saying, but it's fun. It's a passion. It's touch baby real fast. Set this up for today. And, you know, music is the karma. And that way, this is tuned by The Who. You know, Pete Townsend talks about God lives in the notes of the music. Pure and easy is what it is, you know. And that's what I do believe. You know, yeah. every language, everybody's got their dance beat since for ever that's it yes it's a universal language is music no matter what genre you're into but uh you know it's it's great certainly on the radio getting listeners all over the world with the the wonder of the internet which is fantastic you say so you could be sat in a small room on an industrial estate broadcasting and you just don't know who's listening which is amazing it's brilliant i love it and it brings everybody again the artists and us and be able to do this and uh God bless my friend, and you were again on Jorvik Radio in a York. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jorv- Jorvik, 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 <laughs> Jorvik. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. That was the Vikings, yeah. and he told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jorvik Radio. So we're uh, well, we're kind of muddling through at the moment. I've not actually been into the studio to do a live show for eight weeks now, but I might go in this week. But I won't be allowed any guests, or I might pre-record it. I've decided yet. I'll see how I feel, but. Uh, it's, it's not, uh, you don't get the same buzz 